Hello friends, I hope everybody's well out there, a little bit late on my stream today, thanks for your patience, hope you uh, are having a really nice holiday, I know there's been a lot of uh, snowstorms uh, and everything, but that uh, hopefully everybody is feeling okay. I am really looking forward to doing a stream with you today because um, I haven't been doing it as much and that's not because of me, it's because I kind of was uh, stuck in a rut with this uh, snowstorm. So uh, now we're back home and everything's doing well. All right. So what do we have today? We have some drift wheels. Um, this is just a kind of a fun little little build I was working on with some pack parts and some other things. Um, I I don't want to do a ton of tempura stuff today because that was what we did yesterday. But I do have this kind of fun little little deal here you can see we've got my temperas mounted oh that's not it uh, hold on a second I don't understand how you get there aha uh -huh. all right so yeah so this is a fun little rig so how do we do it well um, I think the key with this is having uh, this uh, this vial here it's a it's a pass-through part you could also use a buggy floor or something else but that's what's holding on these screeners you see that they're flush with the um, flush with the temperas these are just some kind of cool lights that they gave us uh, I've also put these out on the side just to kind of help uh, protect the wings seems like they're getting sheared off a little bit so and that made them flush with that so I was mounting them on a gun mount which is nice um, these 935 fenders are just kind of cosmetic, but I just thought that they kind of worked well with this. Obviously the gun mount held that on as well too. Um, and then we've got some plaster, those are pestilence parts, uh, some digger side, uh, something Karita for fender, and yeah, it's kind of basic stuff there. A little bit of decor. One of my favorite parts there, power slide, you all know that. Uh, a couple of boosters, cockpit cabin, and then for frames, we just went really light. Um, the 1x8s, those are the strongest ones, so those are up front, and then 1x6s uh, the at the rear. Of course, I put my buggy bumper, which I love. A couple of, couple of hatchets, those are great. And of course, you have to have your radio. Yeah, but the, the frames are just the 1x6s in the rear. And then, of course, you've got your uh, P1U charge under there to power it up. So that's kind of what we've got going on there. Let's put this thing back together and just give it a little test drive. Yeah, why does it, how does it go back that far? That's so weird. I'm just undoing, and it actually takes me to a different blueprint. So weird. Anyway, so the shiv wheels, why do we like those? Are they fun? So you can right click and you can kind of lower them, drop them down a little bit, they get driftier. Alright. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? All right, we're gonna run into you. Oh, yeah. not the way I wanted to run into you. I'm gonna take a chunk off you. All right, uh-oh. Somebody's coming after me here. Yeah, I don't know. So, you know, kind of fun. Um, another thing I was messing around with was just throwing uh, some cyclones on here. You know, so you can really see that drift drop. It's really pretty low. Just dragging sparks on the ground in my radio now. thought this might be kind of a fun weapon combo for this because you can really drift this thing well. But maybe just 
doing circles around people, tearing them up with some cyclones. So, let's try this. Oh, hi, Ivan. Let's shoot you for a little while. Well, those cyclones are satisfying, I have to say. Spin up. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Right click. Yay! I'm not high centered anymore. It's the one power of the shit or of the uh, drift wheels. Okay. All right. So let's take this thing to battle, and let's let's see what it's like. So power score with the cyclone 7800. Probably not going to be super competitive, but again, this is more of an art build, so we can make something a little bit more serious, but if we're making something very serious, I don't know about the drift wheels. Uh, they're pretty light. Pretty light. They don't have a ton of, a very much tonnage or uh, durability. Oh, and we actually get the cool map, too. That's fun. It's time to bathe my freaking car in blood. If anybody needs any help doing some builds, feel free to hit me up. You can uh, just send me a follow, and I can uh, send, me a, send me a message. I'll make you a car, whatever you want. Hold on, I gotta put my wheels into drift mode. smartest gameplay either. They went back to go get their pot reinforcement. Anyway, so let's return to the garage. Alright, so this is kind of fun, but if I look at what my daily challenges are. Seasonal challenges, just gotta get a couple patches. Alright, a couple of battles. Let's see here. Oh. I'm supposed to use a cannon, huh? Interesting. Alright, well, we might have to do that. Alright, well, we can do our. What is it telling me there's available? Okay, anyway. Alright, so. I've got to use a cannon, huh? I do not do that great with cannons, but. Let's play. Let's see here, what do we have? Anything with a cannon? Hmm. Exhibition. Okay. Let's download this thing. This is from 
kind of a fun little reload based cannon. I'm not very good at cannons, but so what do we do with this? This I built around the same uh, uh, frame that I built for Ivan because he had his limited parts. And so I'm kind of working with some parts that you get earlier in the game or that he had. Um, and in this, in, in this I've got the Colossus um, plus the Omnibox. And so those together will do a nice job of uh, doubling my reload. Okay, so I just needed one energy in this, so I just went ahead and put the uh, big G on there. Keep my PS down. Expanded ammo pack. Trusty radio. You know, I made this out of some parts that Ivan had available, so using some of these digger parts. He's got the season pass, so he, he has this the new Mingu, which is kind of fun. Um terrible bar if you don't want to go all the way for um, train plow of course let's keep this thing spiky here on the front of course we got our big gun mounts no see now that's weird oh my gosh that's that's not right those gun mounts should not should not be holding everything down so uh, or the gun mount should not be held down by the fenders. That is uh, a, a mistake in my build, so I gotta take a look at that. Alright. Just a couple of buggy floors holding on the back end here. You got your Colossus engine, your radar's hidden, a little bit of flare. Um, you know, that does make your power score go up. So, and then I did my frames, I did my 1x8s either side here, and then just used some 2x4s, and so, or some 4x4s, and then some 6x4s up in the front, because that's stronger stuff. So, uh, let's assemble this, and then let's fix it. Um, okay, so... should be like that. There we go. Okay, maybe we could fix that without moving everything off. Come on. There we go. Okay, just make sure that everything's still attached. Okay. That's good. Alright. Well, let's save this and then re-upload it to the... That was a major build build problem. Mm, Omni-Hulk. Delete. Okay. The corrected version to the exhibition. Okay, so what about this build? So it's 7,400 power score. Probably a little high for Hulks, but... Um, you know, keeping the big G. More going for, for speed and reloading here, um, or reloading speed, basically. I could drop the uh, some of this f stuff here and uh, get it down a little bit more power score. I don't know. I kind of like the flame spitting out the back. So, I'm going to leave those on for, for this. And uh, yeah, it's just made out of parts that most people would have if they just have a few levels in each faction. You know, scavenger fenders, uh, these digger side parts, and some of those parts you can get for the uh, for trading engineer coupons. Torino Bart Bonnet, Bonnet's one of the best in, um, engineer faction parts. So you know, truck doors, those are good. And then these um, buggy floors, since they're ninety percent pass through, they have you know roughly five hundred hit points, um, so they won't get blown off. Your cannons will be nice and happy. And uh, then there's obviously the two perks of the Omnibox. Um, it has a speed perk, which gives it a little bit higher top speed, and um, it also gives it 150% or 50% uh, more power. So add that with the Colossus, you get some pretty good acceleration to top speed. And then uh, you can switch it over to reload mode. 
lose a little bit of speed, but you get pretty darn fast reloads, so let's see how it works. Pretty devastating. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to see if we can get one of our daily challenges done. So what were we talking about with the drift wheels and their tonnage? Um, let's compare the uh, let's compare the wheels. So camber, 662 kilograms versus a chain wheel, 540 kilograms versus a shiv, 1125. So they're not, they're somewhere between a chain wheel and a shiv. Um, and, you know, I mean, it definitely has its place. It only has 5% uh, power loss. Uh, like a chain wheel has 6% and this actually has a little bit more durability so kind of kind of nice um, for lighter builds you know I think I think it'd be cool you can't compare it to like a hermit right hermits 850 but they also have minus 12 power and 190 power score so it's almost double power score so I don't know I think that they they have definitely a good spot shivs are some of my favorite wheels so I definitely would play more with the cambers. I definitely liked how they they seem to make the car drift a little bit more, which is nice. Um, you know, they say all wheels of the same rarity have the same traction now. Okay, you can watch me miss people a lot with cannons, and then we'll see how that goes from there. All right, oh boy, sorry about that. Oh, darn it. Yes. Come on. Uh oh. A lot of people over there. I don't want to do that. See, that reload is pretty devastating. You get a shot on somebody. Not even close. Just shoot the boss. Yeah, you wanna run after me, huh? Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this here for a second. Keep your friends guns off. Hopefully one of my friends will help me. Hey, that was fun. They shot my back end off there. It's okay. I'm still running into people. I'm going engine mode now. Engine mode. Yeah, shoot me. Go ahead. I'm gonna run into you. Oh, oh, darn it. That's okay. I got my kit. That was the match. It looks like. Uh, oh yeah, I'm getting really good matches with this build. Not too high power score. So that works. Yeah, if any of you out there need some help with your build, just shoot me over a message with your cross out username, and I'll add you as a friend, and then I can uh, look up your levels and stuff and pick out parts that are going to work good for you. It's kind of fun. I make those builds for Ivan and Julian all the time. All right, so seasonal challenges. Okay, need one more patch. Let's see here. And I need to get another with a cannon. So let's try one more here. I got a win, actually. That actually worked a lot better than I thought. I'm definitely not very good with cannons, but something I want to do more of. I thought about doing some kind of mammoths or typhoons or something, but I don't know. I still like the old hulks, you know. They're light. Um, can move around. The rotation's good. Just good cannons. And with the Omnibox, boy, they sure do reload fast. Especially with the Colossus and the Omnibox. 
people don't expect that. Okay. All right, where are you folks going? Going that way? Okay, we're gonna go that way too. I'm gonna break you down into parts. Yeah, 82 Omnibox with these little uh, in engine mode. Okay, now we're gonna go into reload. Oh boy, sorry buddy. Come on now, burn. Okay, yes. Nice. We're gonna go up there and see if we can't help Grace without getting completely surrounded ourselves. Oh, buddy. Oh, don't do that. Come on now. shots in. Oh, this is going to be a run. Oh, that's a little funny looking go. I like it. sideways spider before, but that sounds fun. Completed two good. Okay, well. Gotta win. Alright, well, we'll try again here. There's a lot of conspiracies. People think that there is a algorithm that kind of forces you to win or lose. I don't think that that's really true. I think that, you know, sometimes you're doing well, sometimes you're not. And that's just kind of how it goes. Okay. Good matches again. In a little bit. A couple of them a little bit higher. The wheels are spinning, the money's coming. I like my new I like my new sticker. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna go around this way and see what these people end up doing here. Maybe I could come across. I usually like to go the right side, but I don't really want to be in a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle with this thing. Can he, can he hit anybody from far away? Probably not. Probably not. No. Okay, well that's alright. We're gonna go down here. Let's see if we can't get any else. Nice. 600. Okay, they're in. Scared them. Shoot me. Oh man, I just completely went over the top of it. Oh, yep. Terrible. But our team has a chance of winning. Yeah, we need to help you, buddy. Good boy. Oh, look at that. Frankie Sub. That's a nice looking, uh, nice looking rig there.
Thanks, thanks, Frankie Sub. That's really nice of you to say. It's okay. We're gonna try again. It's alright if we lose. This time we could do a little more hitting and running and not so much sitting in the middle of the battlefield. <laughs> So looking forward to some more rewards here when they get unlocked. I think it's going to be fun to have these other syndicate parts. I broke down and bought the two wheels just because I wanted to try them. But I will say I do like them. Let me play a little bit more light builds with them. This build wouldn't have enough tonnage. Hopefully get one of those new cabins pretty soon. a couple bots to come across the bridge. Why is it not firing? That's so weird. Yeah, I don't want to fight because that goes off the bridge. Let's, let's get out of here. Oh boy. No. Oh boy. That's terrible. Yeah, I'd love to put this build on small tracks, but they do not work worth a darn. Now, they're really twitchy, and uh, so very unhappy with those right now. I'm playing some wheels. Definitely could see being able to go backwards faster being better. All right. Oh, I like this map better. Let's hope we can shoot with the darn this time. Focus! Guns out! That's right! This one. This is 
more like it, more fun. exactly going to carry the team with this build but you know what it's still fun yep moving target static target not my exact Okay, is everybody gonna fight over here or go to the base? It's time to pay for my freaking blood. There's a whole bunch of them around here. Looks like they're all going over this way. flaw in my build though. I think it must have been late nights. I think that it's possible with those. I just can't believe that those maybe I can hit like a cannon in the rear or something, but those grenadiers shouldn't have been able to strip my guns. Not that easy.
challenge, but did we get did we get our challenge? That was a win. Ugh. So annoying. Anyway, you folks get the idea. I'm probably going to uh, go ahead and keep trying this challenge for a little bit longer, but um, definitely thank you so much for watching the earlier part of the show, and I hope you have a really good night.